might be a bullet. Let's see. Glasses on. I don't know what that is. Anybody knows, put a shout out onto the, uh, the comments. I know you can't see it real clear. The problem with the GoPro, it doesn't do clear real good. Looks like it's copper, brass, something on the end. There's a little ridge line right there. Might be a, might be a, I don't know, I'm loving that, whatever it is, it's very cool. All right, I had another seven, seven to eight right down here, very shallow. And I got myself, looks like another bullet. I'm gonna clean these up so hopefully we can see these guys a little bit better. But it's like my third bullet out here. So I am happy to be getting anything old or new, anything really. But uh, yeah, I see this. It's a real small gauge. I see like three or four lines going across that way. In there, we'll clean that up and we'll get a better look at it. All right, cool. All right, well that beast was a solid 12 down there. The shotgun shell, big old. Big, I haven't seen one that big. Usually the sides only come up so high. That's like tin on the sides, or I don't know what it is. It's copper. That's a big old one though. Can't see the numbers on the bottom. That's a big old gauge. All right, cool. All right, I got something cool here. Maybe. I'm at 25. Right there. Best sounding signal I've had in the woods today. It's a dime. Yeah, well, I see two colors, so it's definitely. Oops, sorry. It's not. It's not silver. It's not that old. I can see. I can see the uh, two different colors in, in the side here. I can't see the date. Not yet. But not silver. But a dime. Yay! Out. Oop. Looks like a bullet. Yep. Bullet Palooza keeps going. Never had so many bullets in all my weeks of metal detecting. Alright. I enjoy getting the bullets. Still new and novelty to me. So some of you guys are going, yeah, yeah, more bullets. But cool. I like ah! Another bullet. Oh. All right, bullet. All right, I had an eight, nine, and I didn't even have to, I just had to push stuff right around here. And another bullet. That's a baby one right there. I'm not a gun person, so I don't really know the difference. Got a U. A U on the end of it. Maybe you guys can tell me what that means. Definitely a U. All right, baby bullet. All right, we got a seven eight there. Anybody else? Oop. I guess if you got a guess, you're not watch where are we? Right there. Another little bullet. Drink some water. Hydration's key. 
Now I love digging up all these old artifacts and stuff. There was an old shooting range, I think, once upon a time from the army. Um, but I don't know a lot about the stuff I'm digging up. I want to know tons about it. And eventually, I'll know. But right now, I don't know. So if you ever see or you know something, what I find there, and I don't know what it is, please leave a uh, something in the comments. Leave a comment there for me, um, for everybody, really, to see. Um, if you enjoy these videos, please subscribe. Um, I want to keep doing these things. I want to travel the country and see all the great spots there is to dig up. Dig up history, dig up the beaches. I want to dig it all up. So that's my hope. Uh, leave a comment, subscribe, like, tell your friends that this schmo is on here and he's trying to make a video. Um, I appreciate it and I'm going to keep going. All right, I got a 10 right there. And if I was a betting man, I guess probably what it seems to be because we're on a theme here. But you never know, and that's the beauty of doing these hunts. You just don't know. There's something very cool. Even the bullets are pretty cool to me. I think I would do that before I start. All right, up there. Back in there. You guessed it. No, there's a bigger one. Another bullet. There must have been some angry people in here. <laughs> or, you know, shooting range. Who knows? All right, another bullet to the pile. All right, I got a 13, 13, 15 right here on the ledge here somewhere. There. Oh, I gotta stop looking away, right? Get the shovel. Let's see what bullet we got today. Oop. Shotgun. Shotgun shell. All right, from the sounds of that, they're probably sitting on top somewhere. Let's go to see. Excited. I'm actually getting new reading glasses coming in the mail today. I just get the cheap. Whoop. Oh, okay. Well, we got the whole thing. All right. I love thinking that. I'm, yep. All right. I can't even get a thought out sometimes. Sixteen. Do I even see the shotgun shell or bullet? Not yet. But I'm guessing. Right, whoop! Whoop! I am right there. They are just everywhere here. Winchester, I can see this one. 
12 gauge. All right, well, I came across these old steps out here in the woods. It was definitely some kind of uh, some kind of homestead or, or something here. It's not super old because there's a manhole cover. So it's kind of just weird. But I saw this ledge over here that drops drops way down. So I think I thought maybe you know something something up here. So I got a 20 right here, a solid 20. Dug that out. And yes. Another bullet. This is this is not like the other bullets. This might be old. This is heavier than crap. It's like plugged at the end here. Big, but this is really heavy. Real heavy. So I think... I think we got a, a cool one here. Um, all you artifact and bullet guys, or guys and gals, peoples, uh, tell me what you think that is. How old that is. I think we're on a, a nice old one here. I'm real happy with that. Unless someone tells me different, I'm going to go with old. All right. I love it. That's a great one. It's a, my get of the day, I think, so far. All right. This one rang up a 20. 20 gauge is 20 on it. An N, like a 20 gauge, but I don't know. It's brass, looks like a bolt or a pin, looks like a pin maybe. Probably was straight, I suspect, at one point. This one's straight back. I don't know, but that's cool. We'll clean it up at home. Looks like it's all brass. If anybody knows what that is. Give me a shout on the comments, please. I'd love to know what this stuff is. I need to learn. All right, I'm gonna do some research when I get home also. All right, yay. Well, that was a lot of fun. I enjoyed going through the, the trails and stuff and having a day of getting bullets and that doesn't really happen for me that often. So that was fun. I'm definitely gonna go back there probably another week or two. Um, explore that whole homestead section over there. It was right at the end of the day and it was on my way out but I'm going to come back and hunt around that spot because that looked like that could be uh, that could be fun. But we end up getting uh, looks like six shotgun shells. These are uh, I think from a couple of 38s. They're different on the bottom so I doubt they're from the same gun. Um, this is I think is from a rifle. One of those big old monster things you see. Got a dime and a penny, neither one particularly old. These little guys, 22s probably. But that one seems even smaller, I don't know. Uh, this, I don't know what this is. Probably can't see it. It's, it's looks like brass. This was probably straight at one point, so now it's bent over. It has an N on, or it has a 20 on top and an N on the bottom. On the end there uh, anybody knows what that is uh, leave a comment I'm really curious on what that is so all right good day I'm gonna be going back out there in the next couple weeks I think our next stop is gonna be the beach in the next video so we'll see you there keep digging
not a very good signal. How you doing? Yeah. Anything down there we're seeing? <laughs> More of the same. Here you I hear you. Yeah. Walking out in the woods, I get a chance to relax, de-stress from the day that's all around us and the chaos. Things were a lot simpler then. <laughs> 